Let's see. Darkness. Shrinking ray. Oh yeah, that's right. These things are highly magic resistant. That wouldn't have worked even if I wanted it to. Ready. And I do want it to, but whatever. Quick heal. Hotkey. Yes. about have him. Yeah. And that's our second named dragon we've slain. Yardrake. Uh, let me see just exactly if since life you would be able to tell what total hit points you had. Nope. It just only says what current hit points they have. Oh well. And on his corpse was plate armor. I don't know. Just plain minotaur plate armor. This is a find. Still very expensive. Would be nice for our Minotaur Lord. Someone else should look at that. And we have a cave full of great wyrms behind the dragon we just slew. So we'll have to heal up real quick and then we'll dispose of them as well. I don't know if I'm shooting myself in the foot later on with the alliances with the wyrms across the land and the dragons across the land trying to form an alliance, but I tell you what, this is looking to be a very shoddy alliance if all they do is they keep on attacking us every turn. At least the necromancers gave us a chance to be able to say hi, you know. Dragons are just like, you die now. Fortunately, our resistances seem to be carrying the day. We'll cast some... Just... More Toxic Cloud, why not? I don't know it. Man, they've got a ton of HP. Mm. Let's head back a little. There's not, much that, there's not much that's doing except for letting them just get free shots in at us. I think if we charge them like this... Ah, crap. And he's out of SP, which is not good. Cast, preservation. Want to keep that going. Got it! can't see what all is something we need to watch for. Which is a great wire, and which isn't, that is. Hatchling grates. Just single one of those out. Let's just try to melee him. We've got preservation so we can back out when need be. Hey, that oh, hurt! Crap, that's a flight leader. I believe flight leaders take precedence even over great wires, so let's back off here real quick. and equip him with the Wand of Implosion, so that way every time he... Jeez. Oh, One second. Inventory Tetris in the middle of a dragon fight is not fun. There we go. This will give him a nice advantage, I do hope. Let's see. Cast. Is there any spells that's run out? No. Well, let's do a little fate action, then. I've never seen one! And then let's try to dispatch him. Ow. Whoa! I accidentally used up... I accidentally just kept jamming the A button. It says spell failed a lot. Apparently it won't let you activate it if there's no monsters nearby. Do you hope it does not waste a charge? Hmm. 
Man, that implosion effect is instantaneous. I love that wand already. Got him! Down goes the hatchling. Dragonette. And down she goes. I believe that's the last of them. Let's see, this should be the flight leader out here. No, it's just playing dragon. Looks like dragons are the dragon sand style dragons, as well are the flight leaders and the great wyrms. And a mace. Very nice. 20 gold, and let's see what this was. Great wyrm should have. Yes, very nice as well. Very, very nice. There's a chest near the back, and I'm hoping that it has an artifact or three inside of it. Reagent. Must be a powerful reagent, whatever it is. Pop this open. Gold, 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 gold. And Devlin, tell us what we've won. It's worthless. A Sunhammer of Doom? Uh, pretty worthless, actually. Might be a nice replacement for what he has, I guess, sort of. I don't know because I don't know what he has enchant wise on that. It's worthless. Junk. It's worthless. Not junk so much. That's actually a nice replacement for his amulet if we can find a replacement for his rings as well. It's worthless. Hello, hello. Very nice cloak of charm. I'll probably be giving that to Frederick Talamir. Clearly a cloak made for a practitioner of the dark arts. This fine cloak is worked with arcane designs embroidered in darkened silver thread. I'm not sure. And this is probably an artifact bow right here, which is a good find anyways, because everybody in the party can use bows. There's not going to be a bow that's going to waste. I'd much rather find a different artifact, but beggars can't be choosers. It helps if you actually take it with you, too. <laughs> oh, game. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a side exit out from the cave here. Or, like, a little place down around here we were supposed to be able to jump up at. Let's see if we can't do that. Brimstone's cave. Hello. Heal up real quick. Very impressive performance. Reaching me was not easy. Perhaps you are the adventurers I seek. You see, I wish to explore the world, and these days even a dragon would be smart not to travel alone. Come with us. I think not. Now I've had a chance to look at you, it's clear that you're not worthy of my company. I seek a group of greater renown. I'm not sure if that's a level thing or a fame thing. Whatever. I mean, we only killed off, like, 90% of the dragon flight, excluding him. Alright, whatever. I guess beggars can be choosers. Cast, fly... And that's another dragon cave down. And hopefully another artifact for our party. If it's an, if it's an of explosion effect, which I'm really, really hoping that it is, I'm going to give that to Kauri. So that way whenever she fires off two bows, it does two explo or two arrows, it does two explosions. It's like the bow equivalent of a rocket launcher. So I'm hoping. Let me see. Where is that shop again? Ah, here we are. Weapons, armor. She has the bow, I believe. Or did I give it to her? Yes, I gave it to her. It's closed. Oh. Boo. Alright, we're going to get some rest up, and whenever we come back, well, whenever we're done with that. Do come in. Your chamber awaits. Your chamber? Okie dokie. Okay, crazy necromancer in keep. What would you like? I would like for you to identify this. Your 